All right, hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be covering the drift over time. So here I have this text here that I've created, simple text, drift over time. And I have my effects panel open over here. And I'm gonna grab this effect called drift over time and drag it onto my text. Now notice that over here, my effect has been applied and I have the drift over time and then I have this transform here. And the reason the transform has these parentheses is because it is dependent upon this effect up here. So what does this all do? Well, if I play it back, notice that my text is drifting off to the side over time. Very simple. Now you can play with this. So you could change, say, the direction. You could have it go up like this. You could adjust the speed if you want. You could make it go really fast. So I'll drag it down a little bit, play it back. Notice how it just goes out. You can make the speed negative if you wanted to. So like that, notice that it goes down. I'll put this to 100 and drag my text down. So that's a little bit about how the drift over time works and it's really helpful. So you had like a lower third that you wanted your text to come in at, you could use this. So I will do that really quickly and I'll put this to say negative 90 like this. And, and I will make my text a little bit smaller. So double click on this, drag this down, something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a shape. So I'll use a rounded rectangle right here, draw this guy out, it's black, nice, and I'll drag him down to the bottom, and then I will grab my text right here, and then I will just place him right here to see how it comes in, okay, that's coming in nice, we can make it a little bit faster though, so we'll do 160, And then we're going to create a track mat. So I'm going to duplicate this shape here, drag it up to the top. And then on my drift over time, I'm going to go over here under the track mat section. And then I'm going to select alpha mat shape layer two. And notice that now we have a mat. So if I play it, we have this. And then it goes out. Okay, now I also wanted to show you guys where the expression is in this preset. So if we go down and we look at our text here, and then we select our effects, we see it over here, the drift over time and transform. And if we open up the transform, we see that we have the expression. So if we open this up, we have this long expression. I'm gonna close all this up. So that is how the drift over time works and I hope that you will give it a try and we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.